the ninth <laughs> federal penitentiary right near Mar-a-Lago. And I just thought, for a guy who's now got 88 criminal indictments pending, criminal, mm -hmm. plus two major civil penalty trials that have already been resolved, costing him about a half a, million, half a billion dollars, I think it's only fitting that if, we, if Republicans really want to honor Donald Trump, the most appropriate way to do that is to name a federal prison. He might be visiting soon uh, after Donald J. Trump. All right, guys, so we got to talk about a slate of Trump deranged bills that are being proposed by Democrats in the House, things that they wish they could do. However, they can't do because they don't have the power to do it. However, if they had the power to do it, they probably would do some very silly things. Like, for example, rename a federal prison in Miami after Trump. OK, they call it Trump penitentiary. Now, Democrats think that this is some type of own of Trump, but I actually think that it's kind of base, right? It would be kind of base to have a prison named after Trump, right? Trump penitentiary, right? You're going to do 20 years in Trump. That's actually kind of cool, okay? They think that that is some type of bad thing or they, they think that that makes Trump look bad. I actually think that it's pretty cool, right? I don't think that's a slight at Trump, but that's what Democrats think, okay? I mean, hey, you know, if they want to confirm to the American people that Trump is the president of law and order. Hey, go ahead. Be my guest. I'm just saying, you know, I don't think that it's bad to necessarily have a prison named Trump penitentiary, right? I'm just saying. But that's just one of the bills, right? We got to talk about another bill that really shows you how evil and despicable uh, Democrats are when it comes to Trump and just the level of Trump derangement that they have. Um, because they seem to want bad things to happen to Trump, okay? They do not care about his life they do not care about his well-being they do not care if the man is granted the same privileges that past presidents have been granted in the past even after being president which is the protection of secret service okay as they are proposing a bill to remove secret service protections from president trump if he gets convicted of a felony now again we all know why they're trying to do this is because again they're evil and despicable okay they want to make trump vulnerable to some of these trump deranged idiots that we know and they know are prone to violence and again we know this because democrats liberals progressives are responsible for a vast majority of the domestic violence in this country okay and again i think that they're doing this as a way to at the very least send a message about how they don't care about the protection of the former president of the United States, um, and that, you know, hey, they wish bad things to happen to their political opponents, okay? And they're not going to go out of their way to stop it. And again, I'm saying this not because of just this situation with Trump, but also because of a situation with another presidential candidate uh, that Biden refuses to give Secret Service protection to. But first, I want to react to this clip here from News Nation of them discussing this silly bill from a Trump deranged Democrat to remove Trump's Secret Service uh, protection if he gets convicted of a felony. All right, welcome back here to The Hill on News Nation. Did you happen to see this earlier today? A new bill proposed by the Democratic Congressman from the state of Mississippi, Benny Thompson, would strip Secret Service protection for anyone sentenced to jail for a felony. The, quote, disgraced former Pro uh, Protectees Act is intended, you might think, as a not so subtle jab as former President Donald Trump, who, as we all know, is in court facing felony charges this week. But consider this. If it ever got to President Biden's desk, do you think he would sign it? <laughs> you know who also received Secret Service protection? You know who also is facing felony charges? Hunter Biden. Well, I mean, here's the thing. Um, with Hunter Biden, um, he only receives uh, protection as long as Biden is in office. OK, so, you know, if Biden's not in office and I guess at that point, I guess you could say Trump will be in office uh, if Biden's not in office. But if Biden's not in office, then Hunter would only get protection for up to six months. OK, so Hunter's protection is not permanent. But again, it is a shame that we have uh, the president's son getting Secret Service protection while Certain presidential candidates don't get Secret Service protection and Democrats are trying to propose bills to stop uh, presidential candidates from getting uh, protection. Again, it's just kind of funny how that works. 
Sign it. All of this is stupid. <laughs> All of this is stupid. Like this is the kind of stupidity it's that funny. causes people to tune out. Like yeah. it's just, and that, that's all, with all due respect to Congressman Thomas, I have a lot of respect for him. But like this is the type of political so garbage political. Yeah. that like just. If you're convicted of a felony, why should taxpayers be paying for your protection? What are you talking about? Because you like, might be you a can, high risk. It's not target. hard to get a don't felony. Don't commit, don't commit crimes. I, don't don't commit crimes. Crime. So a, there's a couple a things going on here. I love it. Was it's not hard to get a felony. Well, a couple days ago we ran a segment. Where we talked about if you protest on a bridge, that that could be a felony. And you should. Well, now you lose your then. now you lose your Secret Service protection. So exactly, exactly. I mean, the point of that is how easily something like that can be taken advantage of. Just like when it comes to, uh, you know, the fact that hey, having a felony doesn't stop you from being able to become president of the United States. Well, the reason why the founders did not put that in the Constitution, they did not speak about that, is because they wisely knew how that could be taken advantage of, okay, how you could weaponize the system against your political opponent to make them ineligible to run, okay? This is why the founders wisely did not put in a provision that bars convicted felons from running for office, because they probably were psychic, right? They probably could see the future and they knew that the 2024 Democrat Party would exist and that they would weaponize the system to try to stop their political opponents from running for office. I'm, I'm just saying, like, this is why it's not there, okay? And again, the same thing with this right here is like, well, you know, the President of the United States is the former President of the United States, okay? Regardless of whether or not they're convicted felon, um, they should be treated like the former President of the United States and get full Secret Service protection i mean you might disagree with that you might think that that's wrong or whatever but again there's a reason why we protect former presidents of the united states why they have secret service protection and i think that they should get it regardless of whether or not they are you know convicted felons now here's the thing this is something that's extremely petty for democrats to do and democrats are the same party that claims that they want unity however when it comes to their actions, they're telling you that they don't want unity, right? Unity is exactly what they don't want. Because if you're really trying to unify the country, why would you even propose a bill like this in the first place, right? One of his colleagues should have went up to him and said, nah, let's not do this. Okay, let's not do this. So again, you have Democrats trying to propose bills that specifically are to target Trump, okay? To try to remove his Secret Service protection. And they also are trying to name federal prisons after him, right? They're just doing very childish things. Okay, but yeah, this is the party that claims they want unity. They're trying to bring the country together. This was clearly intended to punk Trump. Yeah. Yes. yes. Obviously. Yes. Hunter's facing felony charges. He shouldn't get any protection either if he goes to you jail. Know, so, uh, but, but what, don't you think, so regardless of the politics, we should be protecting yes. the president of the United States, former president of the United yes. States, their family members, and yes. top cabinet. Is that yeah. crazy for well, me to well, say? Or no? Like, so no matter what, what the circumstance? No, yes. no matter what. No one should get a blank check for protection. If you That's go out there and like worry. murder people, should we give you secret service protection? I mean, the president's, not. Yes. President, no. the president's granddaughter, hold yeah. on, the president's granddaughter just five months ago in November, the Secret Service had to to shoot because like her car was jacked here. Yeah, or there like, was an incident here in, in DC. I don't dispute that they shouldn't have protection, but if you go commit crimes, then you, sh you lose the right to have protection. Okay. But right. that was You're, not, I mean, for some of them, they do it outside I'm of their protected I'm just of law and order. I believe in law and order. Maybe, law order. Think, think law order. maybe just, it's the former Republican me that believes in right. law and order. Well, I'll tell you this, I can tell you this. I think there should just be a new segment, like dumbest bill of the week on the Hill. <laughs> and that's what this <laughs> is? That's a clear winner this week. I mean, thank you for watching. Yeah, I mean, it is a dumb bill. And at the very least, it shows you how hateful, petty, and vindictive the Democrat Party has become, especially towards the former president of the United States, okay? But again, one of the reasons why I'm covering this story is because um, what you can see here is that, you know, Democrats are selective about this, right? Where they quite literally want people that they see as their political opponents to not get the protection that they should get as presidential candidates or major, you know, political figures that need protection, right? Like, for example, RFK, uh, he's been begging for Secret Service protection. He is a legitimate opponent of Joe Biden. He has the Kennedy family name, which is a family name that I guess you could argue is cursed, right, so to speak, considering how, you know, some prior Kennedy family members have uh, faced unfortunate uh, fates, right? Um, so, you know, you would think that a unifier in Joe Biden, okay, the unifier in chief, this is what the mainstream liberal media claims, uh, you would think that he would give RFK Secret Service protection as, at the very least, a token of, you know, just sincerity, okay? Just being a decent human being. Say, hey, you know, I do care about your life, okay? And uh, I don't want anything bad to happen to you, and you deserve protection. 
uh, although you are my opponent. However, that's not what Biden's doing. Biden is essentially denying that to RFK, but at the same time, he's giving it to people like Nikki Haley, where he gave it to people like Nikki Haley when she was in the race. And again, this shows you how despicable the Democrat Party is in the sense that anybody they see as a political outsider, a threat to the establishment, the system, an RFK or Trump, they're like, eh, well, we don't think you should get protection. But if you're somebody like Nikki Haley, who you would think is a political opponent of, of Joe Biden, but really they're on the same team, uh, neocon establishment, oh, she gets protection, but RFK doesn't. Again, this is insanity. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is slamming what he says is a heinous double standard after a congressional advisory panel voted yes to awarding GOP candidate Nikki Haley with Secret Service protection, but not RFK Jr. Kennedy wrote on X of this move, while I'm happy she'll be protected and publicly supported her request, Double standards abound. My campaign first requested Secret Service protection in May of 2023 with a 63-page declaration. We still have a current request pending. Kennedy continued, my request is the first time in 55 years a candidate has ever been denied. The Biden administration is the sole outlier to turn down a request for Secret Service coverage. So this is very interesting. So Nikki Haley receiving protection as she you know, continues to technically be a, a Republican primary candidate on that side, although Donald Trump overwhelmingly likely to get the nomination. You know, and RFK Jr. has been complaining for some time that he was has not gotten um, uh, so, uh, 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 security protection, Secret Service protection from uh, from the administration. The process for getting Secret Service protection involves a panel of actually congressional leaders uh, uh, getting together and deciding whether to recommend um, this protection, and then the ultimate decision is made by. Uh, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, who has denied it to RFK Jr. thus far. There was a lot of reporting pointing out that at, at the time at which RFK Jr. had initially asked for it, it was way, way, way ad, in advance of the election, uh, much further in advance than is usual. Although I was just reading from ABC News more about how this has worked. And apparently Barack Obama, when he was a candidate in, um, in, in, uh, in what, the 2008 election, um, did receive Secret Service protection pretty far out in advance. So did um, so did uh, uh, candidates in subsequent cycles, Herman Cain, Donald Trump. You know, it has to do with the level of the, the threat assessment for have people threaten them, that kind of thing. RFK Jr. did have an angry person with a gun interrupt one of his events. He's paying for his private security. But frankly, what's offered by the Secret Service is much more robust. Um, I'm not really understanding the argument for not granting him protection, frankly. And, uh, and the administration hasn't offered one for what it's worth well the argument is that he's a threat to joe biden right he's a threat to the establishment just like trump so therefore if you're a threat they're going to try to take away your protection or not give you protection now also on top of that it should be noted that um rfk has to spend millions of dollars on his protection right so that comes from his campaign funds which makes it harder for him to campaign again this is how democrats rig things in their favor in subtle ways okay this is what democrats do this is how they play the game okay all these legal cases against trump force him to use his campaign funds he can't campaign as much as you know joe biden or whatever even though joe biden is so old he can't really even campaign like that but again to even a playing field again they keep trump in court right they make him use his campaign funds to pay for his legal expenses um and they're kind of doing the same thing with rfk in a sense they're like well we're not gonna give you secret secret service protection and you are a threat to joe biden winning the race because with rfk in rfk is going to take away more votes from democrats from biden supporters than he is from trump it's going to make it harder for biden to win so therefore they're like you know what cool we just won't give you secret service protection we'll force you to use campaign funds to protect yourself okay uh and that'll make it harder for you to win right it'll make it harder for you to take away votes from joe biden right i mean it's really simple okay this is how democrats play the game okay they're very sneaky about it in some cases they're in your face but in other ways they're more subtle and um you can kind of see that happening here but again this is an example of the evil of the democrat party and just like how heartless these people really are the same people that claim that they're trying to unify the country and that they're not divisive these people are trying to divide the country and they will do anything i mean anything to hold on to their power that is the democrat party let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace